Welcome everyone, Fortnite has re-released in the United States App Store only, but I'm from the UK and I have the game and it's fully functional. And so if you are outside of the United States, here is how you download Fortnite. Let's start by opening the App Store and then we're going to tap our profile picture at the top right. From here, you're going to scroll to the very bottom and you're going to sign out of your Apple account. This will leave you signed into iCloud. You won't lose any data. You're just signing out of the App Store. Then we're going to open up our Safari browser and you're going to head to accounts.apple.com. On this website, you're going to look for this arrow and then you're going to look for the create your Apple account option. On iPad, this create account option may be somewhere else. So we're going to create a brand new Apple account, enter your real information, but under date of birth, make sure that your year makes you 18 or older. So for me, 2004. Under country and region, you want to use your real country or region. We have to change it later, not now, because there's a glitch on the website. And under your phone number, Use your real phone number if possible. If you see your account cannot be created at this time or the phone number verification isn't working, then Apple has blocked you from the website. You would then have to create your Apple account via the settings app. However, this requires you to sign out of your iCloud. Signing out will be temporary. However, the one downside is you will lose your Apple Pay cards. When you sign back into your main iCloud account, you can just tap on add here. It does save your previous cards, but you will need to re-enter the CVV number. So let's tap on sign out here. You will see keep a copy of your data. You're going to turn all of this on and then tap the sign out, sign out one more time. Now tap Apple account at the top of settings. Don't have an account. And then through here, you can create an account. However, make sure your age is set to 18 plus or it will block you. And then once we tap continue here, you will also have the option under do not have an email address to create a free iCloud email of your choosing. Once the new ID is created, you're going to sign out from that iCloud account, then sign into your main or old account. Once your main account has signed into iCloud, head to the App Store and you're going to sign out of your main account from the App Store. Now from the App Store, tap on your profile picture and we're going to sign in with our new Apple account. If you see set up media and purchases, just tap not your name and now use the new login. You don't lose any data from your existing apps if you sign in with your new Apple account login. Once signed into the App Store with your new account for the Fortnite, tap on your name at the top, then tap on your country or region. It will say your home country, which for me is the UK. So tap on United States, tap on continue, tap on agree. So you'll be brought to add payment method. And so you just want to set this to none. Right below that, you'll be asked to enter an address. So we need to get a fake US address. And in order to do that, you're going to Google for fake address generator USA and just look for one of these sites, I'm going to use the first one on Google. Uh, we'll wait for this one to load. And so you're going to see, if I zoom in, this is you know, all of this fake address information. So you can see the street, town, and all of this is fake. So you're going to copy all of this information into the Apple account, including the phone number. Uh, when it asks for the address, use the fake phone number uh, that shows up here. Some of the fake address generator websites have these uh, intrusive ads. Just try and look for the X and then tap on that X or try and tap the arrow here to hide those advertisements from showing up. And for reference, here is an example of how I filled in the fake address just like that. Now just search for Fortnite and you should see the Fortnite game right here and you can install it. Now once you have downloaded Fortnite, you can go in and you can actually sign out of this Apple account. And the reason why you want to do this 
is because you want to sign back in with your main Apple account so you can download new apps. And when the Fortnite update is available, if you just tap on your profile picture in the App Store, you will see the option to update Fortnite and you won't have to re-sign in to your previous Apple account. And so there is the Fortnite game. Download it from the App Store. I'm in England. Smash like if this video did help you out. And yeah, bye-bye.